how to make fluffy pastel slime in Europe. Now that's really hard because I live in Paris. This is the loo right here with the Mona Lisa in it, if you didn't know, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's continue. So I live in, in Paris. So it's really hard to find the right borax and the right glue because borax is banned and we don't have any Elmer's glue here and yeah, that's just really complicated. So without further ado, I say we just get right into the video. So now I'm gonna go show you guys some of my most recent slides. Let's go. Woo. So I keep my slides in the fridge to make them last longer. So this is a really fun fluffy slime kind of. So it's the pastel slime, which I'm about to show you guys how to make, except this one, then the one that I'm gonna be making is gonna be blue. Now this is a really cool like icing slime. It has these beautiful beads and it's really beautiful and I love it. It's absolutely fascinating. And it's so crunchy and it's great, you guys. So this is a glitter slime, which I really think is beautiful because you can really see it better. It's beautiful. And this is another fluffy slime, except this one's a little more like yellow and stuff. So yeah, that one's beautiful. And then that's it. So are you guys ready to see this crazy slime supplies like heaven? Well, I am, so let's see. So, this is my slime tour. So this is a slime kit that I made completely by myself. So there's, there's some shaving cream, borax, coloring, mixing tools, container, slime, oh, slime, um, <laughs> um, glue, uh, yeah, and that stuff, and then, um, yeah, we have that, and then I'm gonna grab this plate for like the kneading and stuff like that. And then we're gonna make we're gonna make a seven glue slime, and there's two in here already. So I'm just gonna grab five from up here. I put this on a plate. There we go. So that's it. Let's go make slime. Ding ding ding! Middle school science class. Today class we'll be learning about slime science. So one important thing to know is slime is made by combining polyvinyl alcohol, usually referred to as PVA, with borate under alkaline pH conditions. So, PVA is a non-toxic, water-soluble plastic found in some glues and also in some peel-off face masks. Three, when PVA touches borax, the polymer chains clump together, making the slime texture. So now, Elmer's is the famous glue that contains PVA, but you can't buy that in Europe. And also, it's sold out a lot in America now because of the slime craze. To check out if your glue has PVA, use trial and error. I have to try 10 to 15 glues to find two that works. One hint is that white glues that dry clear usually contain PVA. The brand Apley is an amazing brand of glue. It contains PVA and yeah. So Apley, it does say on the back of the bottle that um, it, it dries clear, which definitely is a hint that it does contain PPA. Um, yeah, this is Apple. And then they also have a glitter glue, which is I love, and um, it, it also contains PPA. Now, both of these can be bought at the BH Minute. So um, please go ahead and buy these glues. And yeah. So, Borax is illegal in the, in the European Union and basically everywhere but the USA. Other than that, it's legal out here in Europe in some eye care products such as Renew, this kind right here. There's a little bit of borax in some contact with solutions, but we use a really great eye care product that contains the right amount of borax, which I can buy at the local pharmacy that stocks and orders it for me if I need it. This one right here. Let's go there now. Hey guys, we are at the store where we get our blocks for our slime. We are on 61 Rue de Seine in Paris. So yeah. So let's go in. This is 61 Rue de Seine on Paris in Paris. So this is the forex that we get. They usually have one, but we can order more than one if we want. And let's buy it. 
Merci. Four ninety. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir. one glue because it kind of just speeds up the process. I'm going to get my shaving cream, my food coloring, my borax. So um, I'm going to add in one glue and uh, do the other five off camera. So um, I got these 40 gram bottles. I, I got 40 gram bottles. You, I hope some, one time they had 100 gram bottles, which is much easier, but I'm using seven 40 gram bottles to get basically around 300 grams and well it's we just have to get what we can get because since we live in paris and stuff so yeah i'm gonna go squeeze these five bottles so we can make slime so that was a mess <laughs> but let's continue so now we're gonna add in the mousse to make it fluffy so i've noticed that most youtubers that make slime actually use shaving cream but i've noticed that mousse is much more effective and adds a much more fluffy texture so i'm gonna add in the same amount of mousse as glue so you also, I, I'm shaking it up well to get out, so it comes out nicely. Let's go. Um, is that enough? I guess I add a little more in the corners. That's enough. Now I'm gonna mix this up. So this is, um, I'm starting to make, so the fluff, um, is really starting to build up. You can see all the fluff. It's really, it's really fluffy. And you want to use the same amount because you really want the the, the fluff to be very. Because or else, if you use less than a whole, then the same amount of glue, it's not going to be, it's not going to be as fluffy as you want it. So now that's it. So as you guys can tell, I decided to change containers. So yeah, now it's time for the food coloring. So I want to put in one drop now and one drop after the borax. Which, so that the color soaks in better. There we go. So now I'm going to be adding in the borax. So I have 280 grams of um, glue in here. So I'm going to do nine boraxes. I'm only going to show you guys me. I'm only going to put in one right now. And then I'm going to show you. Um, so And then I'm going to do seven um, off camera. And then I'm going to show you guys the last one so you guys can see the full end of the transformation. So let's do this. You want to remember when you're adding in the borax to add it in slowly because or else that you could actually really just break it immediately. And also you guys can see a really like an automatic change, which is probably an amazing thing. Because it, I mean, you can tell automatically, like immediately if it's, if your slime's going to work. So yeah. transformation. Here we go. As you can see, it's really starting to clump. It's really starting. It's all, it's finally, it's all, it's getting off the plate fully and really starting to do it. And around now is when you can really start with your hands. And after this, I'm going to add in two drops of coloring so that you can get the final beautiful pastel effect. And yeah. So this is for the final pastel color. You can use one or two drops, but I'm going to use two. One, two. Okay. 
at first it's gonna be a little hard to fully blend in, but then it's just gonna all come together. As you can see, it's start, the color's really starting to get in there and stuff, and it's starting to give it that beautiful um, pastel effect. So yeah. So now I'm going to put this beauty in the freezer for 20 minutes since it is a decently big slime. And the freezer just helps it um, take away any of the little bit of extra stickiness in the slime. Let's go. Oh my God, you guys, I think the slime is ready. Let's see, it's been 20 minutes. It's so cool, you guys. I'm gonna go take this over to my desk and do some close up playing for you guys. Let's go. So this is the final product. I wanna do some close up playing for you guys. Love that. Hope you guys test out this recipe. Hope you enjoy. Bye.